So here we have the uh, Powerworld XTT 200 DCP. Uh, it's a DC uh, pulsed TIG welding machine. 200 amps means you can weld up to about six millimeter thick uh, steel, nickel alloys and stainless steels with it. Uh, the machine itself uh, also has a pulsing function, which allows you to uh, control the arc uh, much more closely. What you get with the, uh, the machine is a uh, gas hose and with some clamps on the, on the gas hose, a uh, plug, in, if you've got your own torch already, uh, you can fit the plug to allow you to connect to the front of the machine. And it also comes with the um, work return lead. If you buy the machine as a package, you also get uh, with it a Powerweld uh, Pro Grip Max TIG torch. Uh, the big advantage of this torch is uh, it's very ergonomic, extremely uh, flexible uh, and easy to use, and it comes already terminated with the connect connections on the end to go directly onto the front of the machine. So it's, a, it's configured ready to go. Controls on the machine, uh, on the rear of the machine, we've got the on off switch and the gas connection. And then on the front of the machine, we've got the controls uh, for the uh, adjusting the main parameters in terms of the welding current and uh, pre and post gas times, as well as a mode selector switch. The mode selector switch allows you to move between uh, stick welding, uh, TIG welding uh, in 2T40 and also in lift uh, and HF start TIG. Uh, in more detail on the, uh, the function switch, it's a multifunction switch here. You press and rotate it to move between the different parameters on the front of the machine. So you can hear, see here by uh, rotating it, you can move it in and out of each function and then adjust them accordingly. Uh, that allows, also allows you to switch on and off the pulsing function. So the big advantage with the pulsing function, if you're on thin material, you can use a slow frequency pulse, which gives you the advantages of uh, reduced heat in input. And if you're on thicker materials, you can use a high frequency pulse, which has the effect of constricting the arc and improving uh, penetration. The remainder of the connections on the front of the machine are the positive and negative sockets and the uh, gas connection and the trigger connection for, for the TIG torch. Okay, so connecting the torch to the front of the machine, uh, always connect the TIG torch into the negative connection on the front of the machine. Very important. Um, gas connection there, screw that up. And then finally, the uh, trigger connection, Just push and again, lock it in place. And finally, the uh, work return lead, insert and twist to lock. So it's all ready to go now. So we're doing a quick uh, demonstration weld now. So switch on the machine. Uh, parameters on the front, we've got in 4T mode, HF start, uh, 24 amps uh, welding current uh, we want there, and then just toggle through the other settings, uh, pre-gas 0.2 second, start current 9 seconds, 1.1 seconds upslope, 24 amps main current, 13 amps background current for the pulse, 100 hertz frequency on the pulse, and a 50% balance on the pulse. One second down slope, uh, 15 ounce final current, and then uh, we've got a uh, 2.1 second uh, post gas. Uh, so we're ready to weld. So, so we're in uh, 14 mode uh, with 100 hertz. Just press the trigger and hold it down. I've got the start current, release the trigger moves up to the currently 100 hertz and then when i'm ready to stop if i press and hold the trigger 
slopes down, the final current and releasing and we're off. 